Hello and welcome. My name is Patrick Powers with Centurus Incorporated. I am one of our trainers and BI consultants. Today I want to show you some sample material from our Tableau Desktop Mastering Calculation series. This sample will be from our Table Calculations class. We also have a Level of Details Calculations class and there is a video available for that as well. Today we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the rank function. We're going to see how to create rank table calcs and we're going to do a rank of profit by region. Here I've got my Tableau workbook. I've got a new worksheet already set up. I'm using Sample Superstore. And I'm going to start off by putting order date on the column shelf. The first thing I'm going to do is change this to discrete months. When you're using a rank table calc, you do need to use discrete date values. Let's create a filter on order date, and we're going to change that to a single value list. And we're going to get rid of the all option to make sure that we don't get too many lines on our final rank. We're using a bump chart to do this because they are visually appealing when you want to push them onto dashboards. Next, I'll take profit, and I'll go ahead and put that on the row shelf. Then I'll set the view to entire view so it fills my screen. And I'm also going to put region on the color mark. So here's my basic line. I'm looking at profit over time by region. And we're going to change each of these into a rank. I'm going to right click the sum profit pill. I'm going to add a table calculation. And the calculation type will be rank. We're going to set the specific dimensions because we have two of them going on. We only want it to do it on region. And I'll close that dialog box. Let's edit this axis. I'm going to right click and edit the axis. And I'm going to turn this around. Right now my highest value is on the bottom. I want it on the top. So I'm going to reverse that. And then I'm going to force this to be a line. We're going to add another instance of profit on top of this. And I want to make sure that it stays a line and doesn't keep changing to different things on me. So I'm going to take a second instance of profit, and I'm going to put it right here next to the first one. And then I'm going to turn that into a circle. We'll change this one into a table calc as well. We'll set it to rank. And just like before, we'll set it just for our region. I'm going to edit the axis, and I'll reverse this one. So we're going to take these circles, and we're going to lay them on top of this. But first, we want to get a label. So I'm going to control drag my sum profit pill from the rows to the label mark. And I'm going to make sure I'm on the second sum profit. We've got two of them here. I'm going to control drag that to labels. Then I'm going to set the alignment. I'm going to set it to middle center so that each one of my circles has a number. I'm going to click on the size and make the circles a little bit bigger so that way you can actually see them and see the numbers. Now let's lay these on top of each other. I'm going to right click my second sum profit, dual axis. Now while these are the same value, just to be safe, I'm going to right click and I'm going to synchronize my axes. Lastly, I'm going to hide this left one. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to deselect show header. Let's get some more real estate here on the screen. Now we see for each one of our regions over the specified year what the rank for each region was based on their profit. When we change years, we see those values change. I hope you've enjoyed this quick introduction to our table calculations class. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button below. If you'd like to know more about this class or our other classes, send a message to info at centurus.com or check us out at www.centurus.com. Thank you.